This is Code.org. Let's see what we have here. To do, run the program to observe the outcome, then, okay, you don't have to tell me twice, smack run. Let's see. Oh, oh, that was sad. Oh, okay, we have a lot of stuff here. What's this say? Then instantiate, which is a fancy way to say create, a painter object in the program, tip, checkout, help tip, tabs for help with instantiating. Uh, be sure to add comments to note your, what happens. To note what your code does, test your results. Okay, instantiate the missing painter object. Well, if you're unsure about this, we should go reference other items or other parts of this lesson. What I will say is use your resources. Let's go to help. Now here's this, and let's try this guy. Instantiation. An object is a copy of a class and is often referred to as the instance. Creating an object is called instantiation. These are a lot of words we haven't encountered. They're going to make sense eventually, right? So just try not to worry about understanding every tiny of detail and get the gist if that makes sense. We will need to learn details, but for now, I want to code. So look, they have this example, student. Student is, and then this must be a name, is equal to new student. So let me go over here, and we have Ezra, right? Now, we don't have a student class. What we want to instantiate is a painter. So I bet painter is going to go in place of where they put student. So painter, and then I guess I'll use Ezra, and then is equal to, and again, let me see here, instantiation. Okay, so this is how I'm supposed to do it. I'm actually just going to copy this. Bloop. And whoop, I'll throw it down here just for reference, right? Okay, painter. Oh, and then I need to use new painter, I guess, parentheses. Capitals really matter, guys, in programming. A computer does not understand the difference between a lowercase and a capital letter. It does understand the difference. A computer does not think a capital letter and lowercase is the same without programming. So in code, uh, capital P and the lowercase p is the same as a zero and the letter G in code, right? So we got to be careful with our capitals. Okay, so from what I can tell, we now have created this Ezra object. How we did that is we used the painter class, we instantiated it, and now Ezra should be able to do all this stuff, I think. Be sure to add comments to note what your code does. I mean, they already added one, but sure. Makes for it. And let's test. But, uh, we did it. And we succeeded. Onward.